Hey guys, so it is Sunday, April 14th, and we are starting our first full week of weekly mowing. our commercial yards today and then see what happens they are not saying there's gonna be any rain until like Friday so we should have enough time to do everybody fingers crossed um we tapped out last year at a total of 75 yards that's a little rough that was weekly um we are starting this year starting this week at 68 we did put in a bid and looking at another yard, we might possibly be hitting 73 by next week, but we'll let you know later how that goes. And so we're already starting a little, a little loaded, <laughs> but where are y'all starting this year? Did you start with the same customer base? Did you lose some? Did you gain some? Are you trying to downsize? Trying to move up? We wanted to downsize, and we did. We lost quite a few. Well, I say quite a few. Somewhere's around five to 10, two months ago, and then we've been getting phone calls, so it's kind of equaled out. And we're probably gonna wind up in the exact same place we were last year. But let's get to some mowing and we'll see what we get into all right folks we are at our first lawn of the day i'll show you which one we're doing we picked this one up last year and we had the storm come through so obviously we're going to be picking up a lot of pine cones today but we normally do we're going to do all of this and then there's a good portion in the backyard from the tree, this way we take care of that. There's no grass, but obviously trash falls. So we have to blow all of this out. Lots of limbs. And then some more leaves to blow out and limbs to pick up. But we do all of there and then we go down there and then it's right about there. We'll come across and these trees pretty much of the property line. So just this general square in the back. All right, guys. So we have been on this property for an hour. Jason is just now mowing. Look, finally getting to mow. He did that section. He hasn't gotten to the back yet. What is you guys policy on storm debris? Is it baked into your price that you give the customer when you initially quote it? Or is it a surcharge whenever it happens? Down here we have lots of hurricanes. We are contemplating adding a surcharge if the property isn't cleaned up after a storm. Let me show y'all why. Jason's kind of mowing up the oak leaves. Or I guess whatever tree that is mowing those leaves down because a lot of them came down with that tree right there now that tree is not on our property that we're servicing that tree is not on our property that we're servicing but it threw a lot of debris in our property that we're servicing we do not have an additional trailer with us. There is no way to pick up and haul it. So we just put it all back here. And I'm gonna talk to the customer. If they wish us to get rid of all of this debris, we will have to add it as a separate service because we'd have to bring a obviously empty trailer to pick all of that up. Now, my question, our question is, how would you go about doing that? 
would you or do you add it in to your quote? Or B, do you give the customers a heads up that if a major storm comes through and the debris, excess debris is on the property, they take care of it or you do a surcharge? What do you think?
right, folks, that is a wrap on this one with the extra storm debris and other things. That took us an hour and 20 minutes. Now that that one's done, we get to do these two. Jason is mowing this one right now. I'll come and trim it soon. And then, I don't know if you guys remember last year, this property was in dire need of some help. So we took it upon ourselves to clean it up. And I'll leave a card up here of the video. It took us a long time, like 10 straight hours between two days. But we've kept it up all year. The lady took us on so we can make it look nice. This we are going to mow today and unfortunately one more time and it's getting sold. So we probably won't be taking care of it anymore. But when we're all done with it, I'll show you what it looks like clean and pretty. We put a lot of work and effort into that property because it's really on the main road and we want it to look nice. Hopefully whoever takes it over doesn't ruin it. All right guys, number one of these two is done. Look at that beautiful, beautiful grass. improvement from when we first did it. All right, folks. So after you last saw us, we went to lunch. We have mowed two properties and we have two properties left. Right now we are going to be mowing our donut shop that we've had for quite a while. That's going to take us no time. And then we have one bigger property left for the day.
And that, my friends, is a wrap. Until next time, mow on. <laughs>